Welcome to a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. We got uh, Pints and Pauls coming up March 23rd. It's a gigantic uh, beer fest uh, right where we have our beer fest between West End and Cellar City. Um, it is all for pet charities, Pet Rescue by Judy. Yeah. Um, forgot the other one, but another local pet charity. Paul last year raised 100K plus uh, yeah, just last year. Well over 100,000. He's he's getting up to a million dollars that he's given to local pet charities in Sanford. So if you want to go to an awesome beer fest, over 100 different beers, food trucks. I'm such uh, a child. I music. envision Paul dumping money into like a kennel. And there's just dogs everywhere. And they are just <laughs> eating the money and biting it. To do, to be able to donate a hundred grand just plus, last year, more plus than hundred grand, man, is like insanely uh, successful. Like for well, it's charity, to him, local right? charity, it's a yeah. personal thing to him. He yeah. loves Judy. He loves helping out the pups. And uh, Pines and Paws is great. So yep. uh, I'm going to be out there this year, and I'm going to try and get my dog to be the next year's poster dog. Do it. My do dog's it. adorable. You're going to have yeah. some stuff, uh, t- tough competition, though, because every year they got, like, different variations. They got, like, the Basset Hounds. And then last year I think they had, like, a micro PP on there. Well, I got a bocce. <laughs> All right. I love it. Also, we just announced on May 31st we're going to do our ACT live show at the Ritz Theater, the Wayne Dinch Theater in Sanford. Uh, the tickets, uh, the link is at TomandDan.com. Yep. Right at the front it says 10-year anniversary. We're celebrating our 10-year anniversary of this show. We're doing a live show. We're broadcasting it live on iHeart as well, um, which is the first time we've ever done that remotely. A lot so of firsts. What could go wrong? Yeah, a lot of firsts that night. You wouldn't. Uh, you'd be surprised how inexpensive it is hmm. to, to rent a full theater. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. The theater is more. But just to uh, like I uh, because we have to pay for. It. We don't work for iHeart, so it's like how much I had to ask. Oh, to buy the night. Well, no, no, just to uh, get an engineer out there to, to broadcast, to broadcast. Live on oh, the radio. Okay. Yeah. It was a very affordable. <laughs> I thought it would be. I'm uh, surprised they made you pay for well, that. Well, how much would it be? <laughs> how much I, would it be to have one take my job right now, and then I just sit out there in the lobby, um, or sit on this couch and like hold my microphone, like well, uh, less than it is to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Wow. I now I just thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am a good also business another man. person angry. They were not hired. EJ in the chat wants to know why he was not hired to do stand up. Oh, I think you know why. Because you're bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the it's quickest answer. Obvious. That's the quickest answer. You see what we did there, Tom and I? You see what we did there? We scored faster it's, with an answer to you that was accurate than yeah, Orlando yeah. City did in that last match. That uh, was 14 uh, seconds. Uh, Vince Taylor and Ken Miller are so oh much better. Oh, my God, they're murderers. And Ross, uh, just uh, those three combined are better than you could ever be with <laughs> 10 million hours of practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, All right. I, did you want the truth? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, too early. It's too early. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you? even asked. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Careful what you asked for. You made me be mean to you. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> want to. Anyway. All right. Let's do some weird job. All right. Weird job Wednesday is now. Tom wanted to do a bit. He called it Weird Job Wednesday. Dan really likes it. Tom says that's bullshit. It's another Weird Job Wednesday. What are you doing? What is your job? Are you neat? Are you tidy? Or are you a fat slob? Do you make lots of money and you sit up in your tower looking down on all the people who are working by the hour? It's a Weird Job Wednesday. Just another Weird Job Wednesday. Oh yes, it's Weird Job Wednesday. Just another Weird Job Wednesday. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. I forgot to mention, if you buy tickets for our ACT live show, 10-year anniversary, you not only get a free drink at Tuffy's, where the after party's going to mm-hmm. be at, where... Uh, the Tuffies is hiring a band for us. We're going to have a big yeah, after like a party. private party for our guys. Then we can walk from the Ritz Theater to, straight to Tuffies as soon as the show's awesome. on. You're going to get a gift, uh, like an ACT 10-year anniversary gift that night. Um, and that all comes with a $10 ticket. Uh, that you could purchase right yep. now, and they are half sold out already in one day. So oh, I didn't I, know that. I would get them. I thought you were worried about it. Yeah, yeah I was Not worried. Not anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> well, um, now I'm really worried about it because I didn't think it was going to sell. I thought we were going to get to cancel. 
<laughs> oh, you are you yeah, yeah. looking forward to canceling? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, looking yeah. forward to canceling. Yeah, yeah. Like I, Justin Bieber's World Tour. Yeah, not yeah. enough tickets not sold. Not enough tickets sold. Sorry, can't do any now. We're forcing us to do it. It's like that band we had at Johnny's where we had our Christmas party and everybody showed up and the band was like, this weather's looking really, really bad. And it was looking really, really bad. But then the BDMs, they showed up, man, because they they're awesome. And then the band looked out and saw that the whole place was packed and was like, God damn it, we got to play now. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing better. If than, we did than not show up for that Christmas party, they would have canceled. They would have. Yeah. They were, the guy was packing his yeah. stuff. He was putting his white fedora away yeah. when yeah. I walked up to him. I'm like, "Hey, man, I love your band." There's no, like even if you're out money, like I'll remember when uh, Soph and Suds got rained out uh, two years ago. Oh, I remember. Yes. And we were out the stage money, oh, yeah. tons. I mean, we were standing uh, in the streets while it was snowing on us. Uh, it cost T and D Media thousands of dollars, thousands like, of dollars. like uh, literally over three thousand dollars. Don't pay me it. anymore. Yeah. So I'm I, leaving. I don't like. Talking about and, bankrupt the company. So, uh, and still, when finally they were like, "All right, we're canceling," I was relieved. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I was like, "Yes, See, no you know, <laughs> you know the feeling." <laughs> when I quit, you were relieved. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, no, no matter. Oh, thank God. Thank God. We're saving money. If you don't have to do any extra work. Saving money is awesome. Day, it is like awesome. That, <laughs> even if it's going to cause you extra work. In the, as long as it's that day, no work. You're uh, the best day yeah, ever. Look, it's a look on the bright side. Okay. Right. Anyway. Uh, Tucker is on the line with us. Yeah. How you doing, Tucker? Doing well, guys. How are you all doing today? Good. Hey, so, thanks for doing this, man. We appreciate you being on Weird Job. So, Tucker, what, what, uh, what do you do for a living? So I am a tobacconist by trade, and I manage a cigar lounge in the state of Virginia. Tobacconist is basically somebody who specializes in the cigar industry, cigar knowledge, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is there what a, about cigarettes? Yeah, if is you're there a tobacconist? A, yeah, is there a person that specializes in cigarettes? Uh, yes, there is. But uh, we don't sell cigarettes at our store. We only sell cigars and pipe tobacco because they are. Definitely two different categories when it comes to tobacco, but uh, oh. I guess your your specialist for uh, cigarettes is whoever works at the quickie stop or whatever. That could be oh, I think you're being, a little, I think you're being you. a little judgmental. Well, what about people that like, roll their own? Well, yeah, I think it's apples and apples, my yeah. friend. I think your shot's fired. Well, cigarettes have three flavors. There's regular, <laughs> light, and menthol. How <laughs> and that's all now I got. there's a lot of different ones. Yeah, yeah. But that's... Uh, yeah, so, so cigars are they're a different classification. Actually, they're a whole different type of tobacco plant than what cigarettes are. That's a blonde tobacco, and cigars are black tobacco. Ah. It's a very particular strain that only really does well in certain uh, certain climates. You see it predominantly in the Caribbean, Latin America, but there are parts of the U.S. that actually grow really high grade and world renowned cigar tobacco, mainly in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and even parts of Kentucky. Hmm. So, Tucker, how do you become... I feel like that's the right name for tobacco. A tobaccoist. Or... <laughs> no, you <laughs> got it. You got it right. Tobacconist. Yeah. No, no, you're doing good. You're doing good. So, uh, to become a tobacconist, basically, number one, you have to have an interest in cigars, obviously. Um, and uh, there's a whole process that you can go through um, to become a tobacconist. Uh, so I started, for example, working part-time at the shop that I now manage. And there was a whole kind of process that you go through, like starting any job where there's required training that goes into it. And basically there's a big manual that, that I was given that goes over the entire kind of from seed all the way till the cigars in your hand production line of what tobacco is. Uh, you basically study on your own. Uh, you do a lot of taste testing. Um, I've tasted i don't even want to know how many cigars that i've probably taste tested at this point in my life at least a couple thousand wow. um and you try to pick up on different characteristics you try to um see like what would make good pairings for for the cigars uh i also took it a step further and i'm actually a certified cigar sommelier which you probably heard sommelier in reference to like wine sommeliers yeah I think there's also coffee sommeliers, probably even beer sommeliers now. But I did it through a school out of the Dominican Republic, which is the International Association of Cigar Sommeliers. And as, to my knowledge, I believe I'm still the only one in the state of Virginia, although that will probably change in the next year to two years. Uh, but I basically made it a career path. And, um, I mean, I love the craft industry. I love wine. I love beer. I love whiskey. I love cigars. And uh, I like pairing all those things together and giving recommendations on those pairs. That's cool, man. So when you're becoming a cigar sommelier uh, or whatever, 
Oh, you got, exactly. uh, when you, you were cutting how, a cigar, man. You said, you said it the correct way. Sommelier. How do you, Sommelier, yeah. Sommelier. How do you train your taste buds or your palate to notice the difference? You got to brush because, your tongue. I know when in wine, like, there are... You got a pe- swirl. Pe- people that can... You know, taste all these different notes of oak and fruit. Thi- and I taste the fruit. I taste and the nuts. And you don't taste anything, right? You, when you, you try it. Well, they can taste where the grapes come came yeah. from. What region? You know. They can taste the algae bloom. And um, with <laughs> they can taste the crab. With the smoke crab salad. How specific can you get? Can you taste where the tobacco is like, coming from? And or? like uh, wine smen- sommeliers or however the hell you say it, they like swirl it around. There's certain ways that they sip it to make yeah. it taste different. Is there a way to smoke a cigar to make the t- Taste different? You guys are asking all the right questions because the answer is yes to all of them. You're doing a great job. So, Thank you. Um, one, one at a time, tasting the smoke, Journalist. yes. Just like you have with like wine sommeliers or people doing wine tasting, the old fashioned method is to take a small portion of your wine, you swirl it around in your mouth, and then you spit it out. And you're just basically trying to figure out certain nuances of flavor, you know, potentially. The, Hold on. The I can do this. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Hold on. Do it. Do it. Oh, wow. That is from Raleigh, North Carolina, Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> it's Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, that is a southern as they get. That is a certified. That's a good year too. That's a that's a twenty twenty four. Sourced and bottled, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. PepsiCo. Uh, but uh, so for for tasting, I mean, it, it's really like any of these fields when it comes to to again beer, whiskey, wine, cigars. It's a lot and a lot of taste testing. So um, I mean, you're you're sitting down. You're using for reference, say, like uh, information that you can find online or in a, in a written resource talking about, like, that specific cigar you're smoking, um, and, and you'll smoke it. You'll kind of see as the flavor develops, just like in wine where, you know, when you pour it, sometimes you need to let uh, wine open up a little bit. And as you sip it throughout the glass, it changes characteristics, or it might change depending on, like, what food you pair with it. A cigar is broken down into thirds. The first third of the cigar is kind of like your introductory flavors. The second third is your developmental flavors. And then the last third is just kind of the conclusion or the more rich characteristics of a cigar. Now, it, um, so it really. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, my question was going to be like, when you're doing this, for me, just because you're lighting the cigar, there's something burning. How do you, because it's, it's very hard in my mind to come up with a way for you to cleanse your palate when you're going between something as harsh seemingly to me and i'm trying to say this without insulting but like you know what i mean like cigar it's a harsh flavor you know you're burning something it's like it's a it's bold so how do you like i know with certain foods you you might go for a sorbet to go to the next like how do you cleanse your palate and and judge or or is it a one and done i have to wait till tomorrow well, another characteristic, too, is that with cigar smoke, you do not inhale it right. like other tobacco. You're actually just tasting it in your mouth uh, and, and then blowing it out. Um, but, I mean, when it comes to that, your tongue has 9,000 taste receptors, right? So to your point, when you have something that robust in your palate, it's going to be hard, especially, I mean, I've sat down before and done, uh, like you have verticals with wine, verticals and cigars, um, and you need something in between there to cleanse the palate. The best things that I recommend or that work best, I believe, are going to be uh, sparkling water. Um, really kind of um, rinses out the palate, and uh, that carbonation really kind of gets a little bit in between, like, your teeth. The, um, the, again, those 9,000 kind of taste receptors on your tongue mm-hmm. really kind of cleanses it through. Uh, honestly, anything uh, like a pickled ginger works really well. Um, um, shortbread uh, cookies and water. You just want something that's going to coat, and then when you rinse it down, say with like water or sparkling water, something that's going to coat and then just cleanse your palate right away. Mm-hmm. If you're moving on to like a, another spirit, or if you're just trying to smoke a couple of cigars at once to kind of see what you like, typically sparkling water is my go-to. Interesting. Uh, although I do like whiskey as well, um, and I do. Uh, do like some scotch but at this point i'm just talking about things that i like versus palate cleansers so sure I'll, uh, I'll leave it there so what is the purpose of a cigar sommelier can i well, just say s word now every time i say cigar expert yeah. 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 if you say cigar s <laughs> word you sound like you're insulting the man yeah. 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 can i just say f word 
the longer this goes on, I hope it just gets more and more like just drawn out and like even more pretentiously French. Just like I, I, I hope that happens every time you say sommelier. But um, so the purpose of a sommelier is basically to uh, give, just like you have with a wine sommelier, give a guided uh, uh, pairing or advice when it comes to picking a cigar because cigars, as, as we all know, at least from pop culture. Um, it is very, very big deal for like traditions of, you know, your son graduates and our daughter graduates high school or college, or uh, it's your wedding and you want to take some pictures with the groomsmen, or if you, um, you know, win the lottery or something like that. I'm the only one that had that, right? Like, I believe I'm the only one on the show because I'm the elder statesman here whose father actually had a box of blue banded cheap cigars to hand out to everybody <laughs> like in the cartoons from the 50s you right, know right like my dad was you know he's an older dude you know so he had the box of cigars and then when he died there were still a couple of them in there oh it's a real thing i mean i have people who come into my shop still today who say you know i just had, I had my first kid or uh i'm celebrating you know my 50th wedding anniversary or whatever and it's, a, and it's a big case for celebration. I miss for, that. That's what uh, you used to do. You used to go, like, it was a different time. You'd show up at the auto plant. You'd be like, hey, fellas, I knocked her up. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> it's a boy. And you'd start handing them out to everybody. Yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, ah, oh, you really gave it to her good, huh? And I was like, yeah, I was bumping crazy. But, but then you're, smoke, Have a cigar. you're smoking a cigar that you normally don't smoke. <laughs> no, so you're no, like, no, why no. am I doing this Because celebrating. someone had a baby, dude. What are you, yeah. an idiot? It's yeah. what you do. You got to celebrate. It's like, this is the time to celebrate. Smoke your cigar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and if you don't smoke it, I'm going to be mad as hell at you. I'll never forgive you. But if I don't normally smoke cigars, you how... have to choke through it for me, <laughs> for your friend. You but if you don't normally it. smoke cigars, I'll choke through it for you, though. For Tommy and Max, I'd do anything for those boys. Yeah, yeah, but wh- I'd smoke a couple of cigars for those boys to show you how much I care for your family. Sam, look mm. where that came from. <laughs> it's um, dumb. <laughs> like, like, it's so dumb. Like, I don't, the, the champagne, I kind of like. Uh, I, the champagne, what? No. The, the thing was New that Year's the. Eve, dad Dad would be like, it's a boy, and he'd come into the waiting room and start handing cigars to the doctors. Yeah, That's yeah, right. That's but right. W- was it a cigar? Uh, old school used to be like considered a fancy, like um, like a know. nice gift. I'm you- gonna look up other websites because I don't know if I trust TorchCigarBar.com. Uh, yeah, because they, be they just, have money and cigars, yeah, but yeah. it says that the tradition of passing out cigars for special events, such as the birth of a child, originated long ago with the indigenous people of North America. Oh, I don't okay. believe that. <laughs> I could see that though. I could see like that it was like part of a yeah, like Native Americans, yeah. like, you know, they're, they're smoking uh, uh, whatever yeah, they have can a get. cigar. <laughs> it's what the savages did. Yeah, yeah, like uh, you know, uh, although. They also you mix in some sort of uh, fermented fruit where yeah. you get you drunk. Drink the wine. Yeah, yeah, you smoke. You black out. But the cigar is more. Well, it would have been, a, a, been like a pipe, um, no, uh, right? Anyway. Okay. Uh, so uh, now, is there uh, like how popular? Like you said, you're the only one in Virginia. Are we talking? There's only hundreds in the United States. Uh, as far as certified sommeliers through my school uh, in the United States, it's not even at 100. Um, you will find them more uh, through your bigger cities. Um, uh, I'll, you know, it, it, There's going to be more cigar lounges, more cigar smokers. Uh, like Miami and New areas. York, they have a few. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. And, and, and certain places like Miami, obviously Florida, I don't have to tell you guys, you know, bigger uh, like Cuban influence. Um, you know, I can get uh, you Cuban. I got a guy. Yeah. Remember when that was a thing too? Remember that when that was a thing? Yeah, like, hey, I, I, I got it. Or my dad. I remember when my dad's boss would show up and he'd be like, they'd go off into the back room. And yeah, then everybody's afraid. Yeah, and like <laughs> I, apparently my dad was allowed to show me that he and his uh, buddy had some, I think they were fake Cuban cigars back there. It's like, what the hell are you doing in there? It just goes to show you how mi- how much misinformation was spread back uh, in the day because people were afraid about home poker games and Cuban cigars, yeah. and there were less law enforcement back then. So there was no way for anybody to ever enforce it, although no one thought of that. Like, no one thought Well, uh, we like, were more under control then. <laughs> now we're wild. Well, like, no one's PSA coming up to on that. What? P- PSA on that, too, because I, just, just to have a moment of – this is for all the people who work in cigar lounges across the United States and, and its territories, of course. The number one question that I get asked when someone who, say, is, is new to cigar smoking, never smokes cigars, is interested in starting or just even browsing my, my shop, 
they'll come in, they'll be all excited, and they'll say, where are your Cuban cigars? And just a PSA to everyone out there, if you ever, or you're in the United States specifically, and you walk into a cigar bar, a cigar lounge, a cigar shop, just don't ask for the Cuban I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start doing it now. There's a cigar lounge down here. I'm going to walk down there today, and I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to go like, hey, where are your Cubans at? And, and what you should do is follow it up with, I mean, I only smoke Cubans, and then see what their reaction is to that. Okay. So the, those I'll, are the I'll, two comments that just, oh, man, like, just don't do it. I'll do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. With their, and what are they going to say? To, are they going to laugh at me? What are they going to do? Uh, there's a variety of different ways we have to deal with those customers. Uh, you know, we just, you know, just toss them out of the shop violently, or <laughs> just scold, scold them in front of everybody. You know, Tom loves that. The why good scolding? Why were so many yeah. people afraid of like having or being in possession of Cuban cigars when they would have like weed on them, and you know they weren't afraid of that? Like, were, were, did they think the cops are coming to get Cuban cigars? Don't know. No one cares. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. Right. It's it's such an interesting thing, right? Because I mean, there's been an embargo in place with our country and Cuba since '63, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, people, there's this mystique in the world. There is, but in the United States specifically, about Cuban cigars. I mean, when you think of wine, a lot of times you think of France first, mm-hmm. or you think of these, you know, whiskey or bourbon. For example, you think of Kentucky or Tennessee. Sure. When people think of cigars, the very first country they think of is Cuba because how exclusive and and barred as far as trade we are with Cuba. But if you go to anywhere else in the world, anywhere else in the world. You can get Cuban cigars anywhere, no matter what country you're in, Europe, other parts of you know, Latin America, Asia. They're in abundance, but it's just because we have a, an embargo in place here that there's this you know, mystery, mystique, and yeah. an aura around Cuban cigars. When in reality, stuff that comes out, in, and this is my opinion, and I think industry standard even, is that the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, Honduras, these countries are producing cigars that are just as good, if not better, and more affordable and have better quality control. Yeah, most of my yeah. friends say that Cuban cigars are literally a nothing now, that it's the it's the yeah. other Caribbean nations that are really carrying the torch for the the best and newest and most award-winning cigars. But I could just go on the Internet and order anything I want, a Cuban cigar, fentanyl. Yeah, you can order a Cuban cigar <laughs> inside yeah, right, exactly. of a piranha if you want to. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they're just going to mail it to yeah, you. Yeah, what do you I want? Just, yeah, I just go and get it. And they're, they're, they're I ordered bed bugs yesterday. <laughs> I ordered a little bag of bed bugs. You know, that's a and good And I'm going to release them. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah right, it is. Those. No, you don't you, need to know. You know, just put them in people's uh, beds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, ne- we'll go yeah. to EJ's house and put some bed bugs in his <laughs> oh bed. My God. Too fat for bed bugs. Like, you know, no one ever does that. Why not? I'm, dude, I just told you. it's really difficult to get bed bugs out. Are you trying to steal my idea? I just bought a bag of bed bugs yesterday. Yesterday online, I got them from the same same way they do the un- Uncle Milton's ants. <laughs> they just send you a little burlap bag of them. Like to your enemies. They love the bag. They burrow into the bag. You gotta you gotta put the bag inside somebody else's pillowcase, and then they start to spread. <laughs> they spread like wildfire too. I swear to God. Like can't you just they spread like a computer virus? Like you get some bed bugs, and then anybody you, you have hate, to burn the house down. You just put bed bugs in their yeah, house. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're picking up what I'm laying down. This is exactly what I did yesterday, and they'll be here next week. <laughs> So let me ask you a question. So if I decide to become a cigar sommelier, <laughs> and you can do better than that. You have to say you have to drag that f out a little bit more. Yeah. And there's the, there's less than a hundred. You said in the United States, how much money could I make off of that? Uh, well, I mean, it depends on what you want to do, because there are many avenues that you could take your, your knowledge base into in this industry. People oftentimes, people oftentimes think that the cigar industry is just like your local tobacco shop and you walk in and there's the, you know, the wooden Native American in the front and they just, you know, grab cigars and they point out stuff. Can you not say wooden Indian anymore? And like if. You could say it. Can you not? <laughs> yeah, I would like because it is a wooden. Say it, Tucker. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear you say it. Say wooden Indian. If you Indian. don't say it, I'm releasing the bed box. You yeah. say sommelier the right way, and I'll say wooden. Indian. <laughs> uh, but no, what? so I mean, you 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 can work in a cigar lounge. You can work in cigar bar. You can even work in uh, uh, restaurants that uh, cater or offer, say, like cigars as a selection. Uh, say, like at the beginning of a meal, end of a meal. Uh, the whole point of what someone who's certified in that realm does is basically to guide an experience. And that's what, at the end of the day, you know, the cigar industry is. It's You're a spirit guide. 
a, yeah, it, it, yeah, you're just you're you're setting the tone for like a relaxing time, whether it's with friends, whether you're you're a something. you're a smoky tour guy. <laughs> you're a wooden Indian spear guy. <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, right. Yeah. 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 I like that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you didn't give me any number, Tucker. Just tell yeah, me yeah. a number. Can you get rich off of this? Yeah, yeah. 35, and 45. You know what I want to know, too? I want to know what's the difference happened. between a cigar bar <laughs> and a cigar <laughs> lounge. Leather couch? Oh, yeah. Leather couch. It, it ranges. I mean, um, I would say somewhere on – I mean, it's hard to say because it depends on where you are, too, right? Uh, it depends on, like, if you're working in New York City – uh, by the way, their cigar tax there is like 90%. Oh, I don't know what that means. I just felt the need cigar. to react. Their cigarette tax is really high, too. Yeah. I, yeah every yeah, time yeah, I go past a cigar bar, and I just, now that I have you on the line, I feel the need to tell you this. Every time I walk in yeah, or walk me. past one, the guy that's usually standing out there always looks at me like, you get the F out of here. Like, at me, yeah, that's the vibe yeah. I get is the, like, you're too little for cigars. Yeah, there's a, there's <laughs> a kind of a stereotype. It's, where, it's where, intimidating. You know, where people. They see a cigar lounge, and typically what you see in cigar lounge, on the whole, is older guys smoking their cigars mean and their top hats and their monocles. No, no, but it's like a reality, lot of brushed aluminum, black leather couches, and mean guys holding cigars. Look, you're too small. Get the <laughs> F out of here. See, that's the funny thing is because I know, at least for, say, the regulars that come into my shop, uh, the, uh, some of them actually do have that kind of, like, exterior about them. But in reality, I mean, everyone that I've met in this industry are, first off, some of the most interesting people I've met in my life mm. have been in this industry. And second, they are some of the most helpful people. They'll, they'll go out of their way to help you. They'll, they'll um, you know, share a cigar with you. A common courtesy in the industry or a tradition is, is if you uh, are an avid cigar smoker and you go to a cigar lounge, you want to take two cigars with you. So you go into a cigar lounge. You want to buy a cigar to support the brick and mortar. Okay. You want to have another cigar uh, that you already say had planned to smoke. And one in and your sock. And then you have a third cigar for when you meet somebody who you know is, is a friend, That's or you much. know you just meet at the cigar shop and you give them a cigar as a token of goodwill. You have one in your um, sock, you have one in your <laughs> left pants pocket. <laughs> That's what's for Monica. That's right. um, I uh, I That's like right. to hold one behind my ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I like all of them. Yeah, okay. uh, you put one he in puts one in his front <laughs> pocket. I put one, I put one <laughs> in my cell phone pocket, and then I put two at the corner of my mouth like a mm, walrus. Yes. <laughs> Tucker, tell me a price. <laughs> tell me a number or how much money you make. A general. Oh, roughly, let's say... I'd say an industry standard would be probably 50000 oh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty right. good. Okay, Just to puff on some cigars. Yeah, yeah. Puff, puff, pass. Well, you got to go through a hole. you got to go to How Dominican much it cost Republic? you to go to yeah. DR? Yeah. Uh, How'd you go to, yeah. Yeah. How'd you go to uh, smoke school? Uh, so the, the school that I went through, um, there, there's a couple different options. You can either do it online. There's pros and cons to both. So yeah, all schools should be online. Yeah. And then just let yeah, AI take the test for you. That see, AI wasn't as popular right when I was uh, doing it, so I, I missed the cut. But uh, you, you can do it online. You save money that way, and all the material is sent to you, and you can access your your advisors. That's what Ross that's did like to become a personal time. trainer. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but um, well, that's a if, if you do it that way, stuff. the thing is, is that you have to provide your own cigars. So you have to where you're saving cost in the school that way. You have to buy your own cigars, whereas. They offer courses for you to take in person, and there are actually several big cities here in the U.S. Uh, I know they've done them in D.C. And they provide you the, with the with the sticks, right? Correct. That's yeah, cool. So you're paying more up front, but they're going to provide you with the instructions. It's just easier, yeah. Experience. Yeah, exactly. And, and I would have done it, but uh, I, again, working here, managing the shop that I do, the Beverly Cigar Store in beautiful downtown. There Stanford, you go. Get a plug Stanford in there. Club. Beverly Cigar but, Store. Um, in, Beverly Cigar Store. And where's it at? Virginia. There you go. Look up Beverly Cigars. By stores. the way, we act in pr like impressed at fifty thousand. That's not that much anymore. <laughs> like that. That's not a really I good living act, anymore. I don't remember acting impressed. <laughs> well, were, we were like, oh yeah. I said it's pretty good yeah. for yeah. tooting on some cigars. I was more reacting uh, at him giving an answer. No, no. I, uh, right, yeah. right, right. But uh, I did legitimately react like, oh, that's good money. But I, that's good money for 20 years ago. Yeah. I don't also, think he's anymore. in Virginia, maybe. The cost of living is less. <laughs> I think yeah, it is yeah. less. I, yeah. I don't think that's well, a, for, that good of a living in example, Florida anymore. No. So, so I know, for instance, there, there, for, here's, a, here's a great example for you. I know someone uh, who I met through my schooling who's another graduate who um, is a brand ambassador for a particular brand. Okay. Hey, so I see that. a particular brand out of the DR. 
that snatched them up and said, hey, we want you to basically represent our brand, yeah. do uh, events on behalf of the brand, travel for us, you know, that kind of stuff. We'll take care of everything for you. And they go around the United States, around different parts of the world, and they represent a specific brand. And that brand basically backs them for all their travel, all of their expenses. Um, and they actually, funny enough, they also have their own uh, cigar line as well. So it, re- it really depends. Like, it, it, there's so many things that you can do in this industry, not just working at your the little tobacco shop in, in your downtown or down the street from you. It's, it's, it's kind of a wide-ranging thing. Um, uh, in the industry, but I, I'd say that's probably a safe number on the whole because yeah. most people aren't going to do that, right? Most people are going to work at, you know, the, the tobacco shop or they're going to work in the back office for like distribution for a brand or something. And then like you got that. the other so, guys that'll yep. take it to the, the the highest limit where they're, you know, being propped up by a major cigar brand and getting a, a piece of that. And so, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it varies. It varies. Well, Tucker, thanks so much for telling us about your job. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. And uh, good luck with everything. Uh, next time, uh, I'm in Virginia. Um, Beverly uh, Tobacco Store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You there can you smoke go. a That's cigar right. with Shart and Randy. Open every single day. Yeah. Open every single day of the week. The only day we're actually officially closed is Christmas Day. Oh, so I love those businesses. Holidays and everything. I love we, those we businesses. You're tougher than the other businesses yeah, yeah. when you say that. You don't have to work that much, Tucker. No, no. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, we do that, too. We're like, yeah. we never do best of. We're the toughest. Listen, I don't care how many cigars it takes. I will smoke them all until my community is happy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Got to like smoke that. them all. Yeah, I like that. Well, take care, That's man. Right. And if, if I could do one quick thing, I want to give a shout out to our mutual friend, Randy, for, for bringing me on with you guys. I love, I love Randy. Randy. He is a regular here at our shop, a.k.a. Shard and Randy. He's yes. the best. Shout out to him. So you are familiar the fact that he did yeah. crap his pants <laughs> yeah, yeah. on man. a bus. Uh, yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's that's a grown man. man. Oh, Diarrhea. That, I mean, All he I goes around is. the world introducing himself as the boy <laughs> who crapped his pants. <laughs> All I got to say is, is that... If you ever stop by the shop, you might be lucky enough to run into Shart and Randy. I mean, Whoa, run into Shart and Randy. Oh, share Sorry, a stick run. with uh, Shart and Randy. Uh, it, yeah. stinks. <laughs> it stinks. It stinks. It stinks in, in here. here. There must, must be, be cigar, cigar smoke <laughs> in the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, Tucker. All right, man. Get out. So, yeah. um, I just thought of something. Um, so I'm going to try to teach my sons. How to smoke cigars? Well, <laughs> I think that's great. Uh, this goes Like cartoon crows or Pinocchio. Or like the baby in... Uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? I do love a baby smoking a cigar, man. Why don't you teach your boys how to smoke cigars? Um, Give them candy cigars. I, I might have Maisie, really piss off. Some I might smoke moms. a cigar with Maisie in Georgia over the spring oh, break. Oh wow! In you, the hot tub together. Baby's like, first cigar. Yeah, like we're Arnold Schwarzenegger. When do you give your kids their first sip? I uh, haven't done that yet. Of alcohol? Have yeah, you've done already done yet. it, haven't you, Tom? Yeah, he flinched like he did. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, I've wanted to give him a sip of beer like someone your, did for me. I think I saw right. your dad wink as in a cloud right. out there. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. you did it already. Uh, I've wanted to do a multiple. We'll talk to you, Crystal about that. Because the big one she, she coming her, up? She put her foot down. Double uh, digits? Yeah, uh, I've never done it. I've never given Maisie a taste of alcohol. Um, when did you guys have your first sip? Oh, my God, the Bolins. Remember, Mr. Bolin? I walked up there because Mrs. Bolin would give me, um, they were Italian, and in her oh, freezer, she had all of the the best pepperonis. And she would just give me, as a baby, I think it was three, she'd give me like a stick of pepperoni. And then uh, Mr. Bolin uh, would give me a sip of his uh, uh, Bud Light White Label Maple. <laughs> and I got crushed. Oh, yeah, I, th- I, I drank three. so much beer that I came home from their house drunk. And my mom never let me go over there. Again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all, love, at three, you walked over to her and they're like, here's a beer, baby. I can't confirm it, but that's what my mother said. Yeah, three. I was, I know I was in diapers. And you know she's not a liar. 100% in diapers. She could have been a, My mom could there, have been a liar. There's pictures of me in diapers with my dad, my pop-up, uh, giving me uh, a yeah. beer. Like we I'm were both in diapers. I'm telling yeah. you, that's why we have yeah. a business together. Florida yeah. men. My mom sent me pictures of it. Yeah. First, Florida first men. puff oh, of marijuana or smoke? Cigarettes. Oh God, I was working for uh, I was working for that charity in um, Lincolnton, North Carolina, building houses and wheelchair ramps for people, and I started smoking. Wow, charity cigarette. Yeah, I was I was working for that charity and driving around wood. Oh, I smoked a cigarette way younger. Oh yeah, I was like, like older four, cousins. Fourteen. Hand you a cigarette. No, like here, I, take a puff. And I'm you're a like weirdo. <laughs> I waited until I was. <laughs> I waited. <laughs> I waited until I was 19 to really start wow. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> that will pass the legal age? Yeah. I wasn't a smoker until I got bored. I wasn't a smoker yeah. either. I, wasn't until a, I, was I thought like it was 20. gross. I, th- I was the guy that was I like. I tried it though. Like, you know. I was, was the kid. epitome of the guy who was like, look at all you gross smokers. This is terrible. Yes. 
yeah, yeah. And all my Same. friends are smoke, smoke, smoke. And drinking. And then I didn't we drink all, or smoke till I was like 20. We all went away really? from high school. And then I picked up smoking because I was doing a uh, sedentary sort. Now, it wasn't construction, but it was like, you know, that vein. And you're just smoking cigarettes. So when that guy brought up uh, brand ambassador, ambassador, I started thinking like I remember when we were brand ambassadors for Orlando City. I hated City. that title. I don't I think don't... you guys took advantage of it as much as you should have. Well, I hated the title. It was I thought nothing. It was, it was BS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, it we're is... still listed on the web as that. No, they were yeah. they were honoring we're a off. lot of people at the match this past Saturday yeah. that have helped them through the years. I of, think uh, we were supposed to have been there. Yeah, but I think so. They, well, yeah, they, they invited us two days they, uh, yeah. prior to the event. <laughs> they we were like, we said, like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they no, no, we like needed the day before. <laughs> we needed uh, more than two days notice. Yeah. <laughs> they forgot about you until the last yeah, minute. They were like, like, oh yeah, the brand ambassadors. I, no, no BS. That is how it felt. I mean, like, it, it, and it hurt right. my feelings because I was like, man, I'd love to be there and bring my kids. And Maisie thinks it's so cool that Daddy helped build the MLS team here in Orlando. And, uh, man, they all Does she just, think it's cool? She does. Oh. She loves the team. She loves watching soccer. When I tell my sons anything like that, they're like, it just doesn't move the needle. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, it's easy for me to move the needle with Maisie. <laughs> I mean, like, I do, I do anything. She thinks I'm magic. But uh, you need to get a job that no one is for sure what you do. On the outside and even in the inside, because I feel like if you fall into that category, it confuses everybody to the point where we know someone like that that used to come in here that no longer comes in here. Yeah, it was just your own, like that was a brand ambassador, and I'm like, I'm not sure what you do. Yes, and that's the perfect because then <laughs> okay. you don't have. Really, and she's still doing it. Took me a second to get your wavelengths. I apologize. You don't have any. She's out there still defined doing it. duties, and then you can kind of make up your job to whatever it is, and then no one can quantify if you're doing good or not yes. because they don't even know what you're doing. That's what I need to do. So then. I need to be a brand ambassador for somebody. Like if you if, have something that's a brand that you want an ambassador for. Here's the problem. Like if you're a salesperson, it's all numbers. They see it. Well, like ours they, was like a creative free floating job. Yeah, yeah, because no and one that's understands what, I think what a lot of people do. Well, some a lot in of, that role. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In brand ambassador. Yeah, yeah. Like but uh, there's other jobs that are confusing to what this person or anybody does. That's where you need to land because that's the best job because then no well, one we were also really kind of making our own like eventually what it became it was originally if we just want to kind of flesh it out brand ambassador for you and I or me was more of like I was a mouthpiece I would go places I would talk about the team a lot but then it eventually morphed into us writing for the marketing department so it changed yeah yeah, was just, yeah but yeah. we kept the moniker of brand ambassadors but it didn't make any sense because we were we were just marketing employees yeah yeah because you know, they, they, like, just, yeah. they just invented a job or whatever ours is a little different we didn't actually employees and it was like just paying our company but uh it like I'm, yeah that's I'm true to, yeah, that's, a lot of people don't know that we were uh we were not employees uh, we were like 1099ers but that's where you need to find the sweet spot yeah. of the confusing job where someone looks at you and they're like oh you tell me it's, it's a fancy title but everybody's like i don't even know what this person well, going and no one do what would you say it is that you do <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah i'll go along with that and tell you my dream one is a variation of that i think and oh. it's consultant because isn't that what you're talking Consultant's about? Consultant's another. I, that's what I like as a as a 47 year old man like looking down the the tunnel to see where the hell I'm going. It'll never happen. But there's a part of me that says like it would be fun to just like because I don't even know what it is. Consult what? Just give my opinion of how yeah. bad you're doing. I can do that. You need to I'm be great at that. A fast talking scam artist. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for me. So yeah, yeah, you are. Man would be a great. I'm not a fast talking scam <laughs> yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. Together we are. <laughs> yeah, Together yeah. you and I are a fast you talking scam consultant artist. team. But you, consultant you, you team. Just, okay. You just need to improv the truth at real oh, time. Oh, I can do that. that. That's all. That's all a fast and talking scam artist. A little bit of lies. <laughs> yeah, Real time. Uh, no. I don't like the lie part. Here, here's the thing. It's not a total lie. It is. Oh my god! I drank too much caffeine, and Gagman is here. Everybody, <laughs> he's here. Gagman is here. It, oh. We need to have an intro for Gagman. It's creative truth. Uh, that is. Ooh, a thing. Write wow, that down. A, hold on. This Dude, is creative, new. Truth creative truth is powerful. Truth. Creative me, truth is powerful. Ask me anything, and I'll give you a creative truth. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Sam. Like, say, um, uh, you know, ask me about any business. Why? Or anywhere, ask why? Anything with this business. Why do you find it difficult? Creative truth. Yep. Why do you find it difficult to give your wife compliments? Um, well, first, I just assume that she always 
uh, like she knows I love her. We've been together since uh, high school. Uh, you know, loving I, someone isn't giving someone a compliment. I, mm-hmm. I and it's m- my love language is just to work super hard for her and her family. Oh, I like that. And I then like that. by you know, I'm just a you know a little bit different type of person. Okay. Where uh, you know I I show my love by working wor- hard, working hard, and you know. Uh, Putting my head down, making sure my me family. Me show you, me love you by m- moving rock. And every time I do look at her, I she's beautiful. I love her. Um, and never heard that before. And That's I'm also good. working to better myself in this area. Um, I'm starting to, you know. Now you've never said uh, anything uh, like that. Just, Holy uh, crap! I think I feel hell freezing over. That was that? really good. That, <laughs> that was really good. I just, I, that I, was a little bit of lie. That just, was really good. I just that end was a little bit of lie. <laughs> I could just good. keep circle talking. Yeah. That, yeah. What do you want to hear? Bettering yourself. That was. What good. do you want to hear? Tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. 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 I love telling Man. you what you want to hear. You know what? I love hearing it. I was so I was on board. I was like, my God, he's never said that before. He's a great husband. I wanted to hug you. Crystal is sitting behind yeah, me. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, why I asked it. I heard her moving. I was like, she's about to walk in this lobby right now. This is a setup. I like, just wanted to see her head slowly come up behind you. <laughs> I'm like, someone's moving the garbage pile on my desk. <laughs> I hear it. The All garbage right. pile is moving. We will be right back. I might need to do a quick reboot of this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's acting weird. That was good. All right. Nice job, y'all. Hello, Chris Dolls. What's Chris? Wednesday 1 and 2. Wednesday. 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 What'd you got him? Nice. That's awesome. Exactly. And then I tried Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There was a little bit of like learning curve where I had to figure out Chris was first, so like the doctor the next time. And then mm-hmm. the next time. Hey, what? What am I here for? So what are we doing? We're doing an uncensored segment for a future Friday free show okay. for next Friday when they're out. The, the mics are on, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, what, what did you say? Well, he left it in. It was about... Um, oh, it was when Bart was here. Yeah. Oh, when he said the Chris Benoit. Yes. That I knew. I could tell he got it. Yeah, that was a great joke. I it made me laugh. I loved it. I wanted <laughs> to <laughs> stand up and high-five you. You know, we should we probably shouldn't like tell people like that. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've said that joke before. And he said, yeah, but it's because it's probably on like uh, AMC or TV or something, not here. So he was... No, it's fine. No, it's funny. I think I even put that on Best Of because it was so funny. (laughs) It was very funny. (laughs) I do. I have lotion, but Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's Luberderm in the where where the Luberderm. It's for the uh, medicated. It's in the damn uh, medicine cabinet. The no top um, left above the microwave. There you go. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, I had it for my tattoos. That was very nice, Robert. Bring over some of your old Motown records. We'll put the speakers in the window and we'll go listen to the Maryland miracles that go through the alley down below. That's Rod Stewart. So I just, I'm just doing better with just. I just go with the things that pop into my brain now. Holy smokes! I thought you had a tall boy, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, this is gonna be fun." I, hey, I'll say holy smokes about that. Yeah. It looks good. Yacht. My son's tall. Is that what he calls your butt? Well, he said. Very nice. Like, yacht was the legal 
Nice. Which was weird. Yeah. A little so, conflicting. Yeah. I mean, it's not a full grasp of it, right? But, you know, he's having fun. I wish my kid would express anything slightly, um, like, not like her mom. <laughs> you want her to say on God? I want her to say, I want no, her to no say God. slang. I want her to curse. Slang. I want her to, um, yeah, but she won't. She's baby angry. Oh, send me that, Norm. I want to play this uh, Qualified Captain video for you guys. Nothing makes me happier. All right, so this <coughs> will be, we'll just do a 30, and this will be for AMT. Uh, Next Friday. Yeah, what's the day on that? 22nd. 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 And we got two other Don't do segments. any gripes at me. I'm not. <coughs> Don't do any gripes on me. That's what it sounded I was like. Yachting. Yeah, yeah, I like that. When Maisie it, or when Andrea does that, me and Maisie always make fun of Andrea. Andrea will be like doing something, and she'll be like, hey, oh, "Don't think it, we're leaving soon," because she's yawning, and we'll go like, "Okay." It's so mean. It's fun. <sighs> All right, it's Mr. Van, oh. you ready for no. fun? No. <laughs> Whole business today. Oh <laughs> my um, god! You look good. You both you get guys, out of business mode. Your hair looks great. Thanks. I had it in a. You break. guys look very attractive lately. With all this training, <laughs> I'd watch it. Start, Mister Van. Mm -hmm. And this is just another segment for the twenty second. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This, <clears throat> this is the beginning segment. So all right. Oh wow. Um, okay. Uh, you want me to start? I'll sure. Start. Here yeah. we go. It is another mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Sam is here from the grave. Yes. <laughs> from the grave. Nope. The very one that Tom is fucking. Uh, Did he tell you about that? That he talked no, about. No. Have you seen uh, Saltburn? I'm assuming I mean, you watched, watched it. watched it. I was yeah. going to say, I'm assuming you're the one that made him watch it. We watched it, it together, yeah. He yeah. said yeah. he wanted to do that to my grave. No, I just, I was I... making, I got into Saltburn <laughs> jokes for a while, <laughs> yeah. for a minute, yeah, yeah. and I had to get them all through it's my just system. Like you go, we did Shape of Water. <laughs> we did Whale. We I, do, uh, uh, we do. Shawshank for a long time. I don't watch any of the movies. I just find out what the thing is and i'm like oh the guy yeah. fucks the grave all right now i'm in we'll the game of thrones of reference oh that's oh, way God. old though that's way old yeah but we're re we're re-watching it the new one you got to do now is kid brain in adult body is this gonna fuck with people's heads that technically this is my last friday free show oh yeah we'll Even hear though about it's it pre-recorded oh they'll complain the tuesday for sure. prior oh yeah yeah I'll get let an them email. send the emails <laughs> I'll get an email. tom i don't know yeah. if you knew this we didn't give people enough notice yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh there's right. a guy on reddit Did you see the guy he's like you God told damn. me yeah the guy on reddit was like like he wanted to know the day i'm not making that fun I of him either. he wanted to know the day that she told us and what? i was like well that's fucking why does he deserve that Okay, yeah. that's a harsh answer, but it's the accurate one. I mean, you're right. I'm sorry, I just no, no. You're I'm right. not trying to be mean. I no, really no, you're am not. curious. You're right. You wanted, like you if you to have save or the last of save. If you have a you know a decision and that's yeah. your decision, then that's business. your choice. Yes. You know, not somebody else. Sam's business. This sorry. decision was actually started the day Cisco did that last. <laughs> 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 I wasn't even hired. <laughs> we, we set it in motion yeah, yeah. before you were hired. Yeah, yeah, but you. The firing was in. Have Andrea send me that video so I can put it on my OnlyFans. She destroyed it. 
<laughs> yeah, she destroyed it. You could recreate. If you want to be rich, Travis will dress up like this. I'll watch. Yeah, if you want to be rich, I don't get that reference at all. No, um, it was, we got a nail. Normal for me. <laughs> yeah. we we hired, I don't know what's going on. We right hired here. a man that is a was a stripper for my bachelorette this is like party. A, more than a this decade. This was in ago. 2015, and yeah. he gave her oh. a very. Uh, a he motorboated he me. He motorboated her. He licked my friend's face. Yeah, it was. Oh. It was and then he and then he went on to be a grinding famous their nut- ding dongs on my knee. He went to be a famous nutritionist and 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 a lot of Publix commercials. And he was in that earwax thing. He was in the earwax, earwax commercial. commercial. Every time I saw the commercial, I was like, "Hey, it's Motorboat that guy's Jones." Face was in my titties. <laughs> So, oh, I will say uh, Crystal is one half of the Bart Merrick team. Woo-hoo. And if you need to buy or sell your property, use uh, the Bart Merrick team uh-huh. because you get two realtors working for you uh, at the two. same time for the price of one. And they have uh, an insane amount of experience, especially in every different market. And in like, you know, that's been recently pre-COVID. I've COVID used them. After, Sam's used them. I mean, yeah. we're, yeah, we're uh, damn happy now, with the Bart Merrick team. Hundreds of BDM. So it's BartTheRealtor.com. Um, hey, thanks for being here, Crystal. Thanks for the plug. Good to see you. So uh, a couple things. Um, one the other day. Uh, well, let's start with today. Um, and oh, you're gonna drop a bomb. And I'm going to give myself uh, my own self gripe, where uh, I'll oh, tell you something. Self reflection. <laughs> this, yeah. oh, this is new. Yeah, yeah, this is new. This is new. I'm leaving, and yeah. things are changing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what had to happen. I, by oh, God, like, I mean, like, did you? If only you did this before. I wouldn't <laughs> left. Yeah, I, exactly. Did you set this in motion? Like, what is happening? <laughs> There's two things that I get very frustrated by, and I don't understand why. <laughs> and uh, and it's one of them's me, isn't it? And it's gonna get one of them's computers. <laughs> well, okay, well, no, let's talk about this. Oh no, was that technology. today? Was this yeah, today yeah, with yeah, the technology password? Technology in general. Is this today with the password? And when he walked in, <laughs> listen. When he walked in, he saw me do it perfectly the first time, and I thought he was gonna punch me in the back of the head. He was so mad. It's only gonna get worse as you age, and you're only 42. No, I know. Yeah, dude. You're it, only... Everything he touches, it like if he used <laughs> it turns to stone. If he used <laughs> the washing machine, which is just it, knobs, right? yeah. it would somehow stop working. Like he could just walk by the freezer and then it like doesn't work anymore. It's his curse. He yeah. has something going you on. You have the food curse. He has the technology. Like, I, I didn't want to say this, but well, it adds to what you're about to say. I do more maintenance on his machine in just rebooting it and getting it to work. <laughs> Than any computer in here, like it's insane. I know it's got every file the he's emails. ever had God, since the, like oh nine. E- he gets shut out of his email more than any person I've ever known in my entire life. It's and he's always like, I'm gonna go in and delete a hundred. Do you know time. what it is? I'm it's like, I don't because think that's... he refuses to put a system in place other than just leaving all windows open. <laughs> He does have 98. Tabs Every window's open, open and, and, and and these are windows from like 2002. That's 2003. what the inside of his brain is like. All windows open. Uh, all, everything's <laughs> open all the time, all and the, open. the bandwidth is constantly being used, yeah, and it's yeah. refreshing, and it's yeah. always. There's no. It's all. It's like pedal down. To the floor, going as fast as you can, yeah. windows wide open. <laughs> yeah. And then the computer's <laughs> damn. Don't you want uh, all the windows open? <laughs> no, my hair's blowing around. <laughs> yeah, the computer, some, the computer just papers. dies early for, you know. But why can't it handle it? But anyway. <laughs> it it can. Work. It can. It's just you are too powerful. <laughs> no, I'm not too powerful. You're, no, you are. You are. No, wrong. he's too powerful. If you, like, look, it can handle it. I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven programs open on this machine. Okay. 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 You- <laughs> All right. I don't know. Hey, it's I Doc- believe you. It's me, Dr. Nick from The Simpsons. That's what I heard. You- He's been watching a lot of Simpsons. There are times when I go in there, and I'm not saying this to, to I don't want to gang up on you, but I just want no, to give you a no, real no, answer. No. There might be 30, it. I'm not kidding, dude, 30 to 40 Chrome, 30 versions open. Third. <laughs> um, just I, I'm Chrome? not kidding. I'm not kidding. Well, I, 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 I'm sorry if I'm vetoing. 30 Chrome. <laughs> uh, 40 documents. Um, multiple. What's the one? Outlook. Or, uh, no, the one where it's just a preview. Preview of just like yeah. uh, of, of different uh, um, so pictures they, these from things Danger open Brain. And he doesn't close them. No, he, he just moves, opens a no, new one. He, sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. He <laughs> moves them down. He'll dra- Okay, he'll uh, take. I'm going to do it for you. He'll take He's this. like, get this out of the way. And he just moves it <laughs> behind <laughs> everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, he just moves it down. Oh, so then I he doesn't minimize there. it. Okay. So I, he doesn't yeah. minimize. He doesn't okay. know how to minimize. So I go in there and then hidden... Like a you kid, like it's no different than Seth throwing He's shit panties over. shoving things under the bed. <laughs> He's hiding them under the bed. Oh, digital yeah. bed. He put it under his digital bed. 
Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking well, about. No and you... one taught me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach Nobody you. taught any of us either. I'll yeah, well, how'd you I mean, learn? We we just uh, learn things <laughs> oh. as we go. You know, that's a dangerous question. When it doesn't, when it doesn't work this time, we do it differently next time. Go back and to then your point. That's learned. What's your point? You were saying. Uh, I'm just. Uh, um, uh, uh, this is a gripe. I'm just mad that this happens, <laughs> and I'm mad. That do you I... want to walk the listeners through what you were trying to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that dramatic? <laughs> 10 or he 15. He was very upset with himself. He was mad. 15 years ago, I used to And sit, then he blamed the computer. I, uh, the, uh, you know, God rest his soul, Bubba Wolf S. Wilson yes. uh, also had this problem. I miss him. And um, I remember his computer was always broken, <laughs> and then he just, just couldn't his figure it out. Too, his phone, too. <laughs> his phone, too. And, and you do the phone thing, but I don't bring it up. I, I, I was in my 20s. So yeah. I was like, this guy, <laughs> what the fuck? And he was my <laughs> <laughs> the same thing Bubba used to do. Drops uh, his phone all the time. I'm phone is broken. And then he'll bring it into me, and he'll be like, <laughs> <"Lock> <laughs> me out. And he does yeah. that thing where he's like, he's oh. holding it, and that just the act of him holding it is supposed Literally, to prove to you that he did it right. And he's like, with our bank, I hear him scream, they locked me out, like, every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They We're locked do. out of Truist right now. Uh, he's never locked so, in. And Bubba no ass Wilson. So uh, Bubba used to tell me, he's like, I went to these porno sites and all of a sudden a thousand <laughs> windows. Remember when you were getting them on your calendar, the porno uh, schedules? And then, and then do you like, remember that, Dan? He's like, I'd have to I'd have to X out the windows faster than they could. Yeah. So and it's impossible. It was like a wizard <laughs> battling <laughs> itself. And he's like, he's like, if I could... It's like when you went solitary at all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I could finger tap the X is faster. Oh, he's got fast then, I, then I could push the power back to zero and then it'd get back. But sometimes it overwhelmed my computer. It's like all I could do is drag my computer into the recycling bin. <laughs> <laughs> and then back away. And then all there was yeah. left is the recycling bin. And he's like, I couldn't drag the recycling bin into itself. And then I'm stuck. And then I'd go and try to help A him out. What do you want to learn to do, though? When and then you... all I would do is go and put uh, a lemon party on his laptop. <laughs> so, lemon party? Yeah, you so, don't remember lemon party? So when he oh, opened it up, I remember yeah, lemon party. It was like three dudes blowing each other. Oh, like old dudes. Yeah, yeah. Like I three. Seen that. But then they're bouncing like, and then you whip, whip it. Oh, no, that, no, that oh, was. It was the whip, the helicopter. No, that's the one I used to put on Andrea's. Meat spin. Meat spin. Oh, meat spin. I remember oh, meat yeah. spin. Is that still yeah. on? Yeah, we do oh, meat it's spin. it's still spinning. Like, and he gets so frustrated. But anyway, I, I would tell my 20-year-old self, I was like, don't let yourself get like this. Uh, where you can't use technology and your twenty year old self was worse at, at learning than your forty two year old. Tom, are you on tits talk? Look at the, the top. <laughs> are you on tits talk? It's uh, yeah. Oh, there was a tits. T- I'm sorry, I exited it out because it was it's no, it doesn't <laughs> work anymore. Tits.com. There's a banner on it. It doesn't just go right to meat spin. You ha- you have to be eighteen to watch it spin. Oh, that's oh, lame. Yeah, boring. There it is. That's it lame. is a different meat spin. Yeah, it's not the this same one. This is a very different meat spin than what I remember. Oh, oh you the, whoa! It's a dick in the ass and it's spinning. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, the one I remember didn't have. The it was just the spin. No, oh, it's or... always been dick in the ass spinning. <laughs> you blocked it out. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. Bur- yeah. this is your Bernstein Bears. <laughs> it's a Mandela effect. Mandela <laughs> effect. You're like I don't remember the anal. I'm serious because I, I remember this the one's anal. burned into my brain because it's the thing I've put on Andrea's phone and computer the most of anything <laughs> in the world. So I'm, uh, the, I'm the magical prankster. Um. It's, uh, this morning, I was trying to get on recreation.gov to get these fiery furnace <laughs> of hiking passes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> like a know, good dad. And, uh, how, that we how have... hard was it for you to spell fiery? Uh, well, I sent him me. the link. I sent him, uh, I didn't okay. even. Gotcha. I, I Googled fire why. <laughs> I Googled fire. <laughs> and then it popped up. I Googled fire why at hiking, and then it popped up. And I was like, oh, that's fire why. Oh, my <laughs> God. I-E. Uh, anyway, so uh, Crystal's like, you got to sign up because I didn't get the passes yesterday, and today's our last day to try to get them. There are only 75 left, and then people get them yeah. fast as spring break. And it's or like in a second and a half, they're all gone. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Crystal's and like, you would get, think that this is, I mean, it's got to be pretty damn amazing. Like, well, I hope so. Get yeah, Daniel to sign up, uh, get Sam and everybody. You, you didn't know, tell me how to sign up. You uh, just said, hey, I need you to go to this website with a time yeah. card. I'm like, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, th- because then I got the email and then they said, uh, n- like, put in your new password. So I put in uh, the password or whatever. And then it said, try again later. Okay, but first, I have to say something. Yeah. Mm. I gave you all these instructions yesterday while you were here at work. Yeah. Yeah. And you called me at 
<laughs> today. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> For the <laughs> business. Nine I wanna, minutes? Are I you wanna, serious? I want to shake your hand right now. This is yep. why. Like, I'm fucking <laughs> looking at you. I was early. Oh my God. I was early. This is what's going to happen when I'm gone. Do. I was on Casey Musgraves to get tickets for... Um, she doesn't even know yet. Uh, no, it's nine minutes early. Keep this on the DL, Yeah, everyone. Maisie doesn't know she's going to see Casey Musgraves. I was on there an hour ahead of time. Ready to go. So when the 10 minute mark went, I was first in queue, man. I'm Let me ask you a question. Right Did you have an account already? Oh, yeah. My Ticketmaster so, and I had my American Express loaded because that's the only way I could get the, 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 yeah. oh, yeah, the American Express. You got to just make sure you yeah. do it all quick. You got to yeah. be ready. Well, I told him all this. Man, we tried to get these tickets in October and it didn't, We you know, multiple days in October, we couldn't get them. Now it's spring break. I couldn't get him Sunday. I couldn't get him Monday. It's like high anxiety. At, yeah. At, and I'm watching the, I've got the world clock up. I'm ready. I'm, yeah. ref- you know, I'm refreshing. I'm, uh, and then he calls me nine minutes ahead, and he's like, "I can't set a password. I can't get the account <laughs> you so that I can guest, log right? in." Could you log in as a guest or no? You, you have to already be logged in if you want to secure the tickets. Okay. So I and, was, uh, you know, so you just gave up. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> your fault. I was banging my get now, your desk, and I was like, "Well, whatever. Well, I don't even want to go anywhere." I was anyway. in the office while this was happening, and. <laughs> He was freaking out. I was Nobody like, came hey, man, here. what's going on? Can I help you? And he's like, no, it's my computer. Crystal thinks it's me, but it's my computer. And I'm like, okay, well, what are you trying to do? So then within two minutes, I made an account. <laughs> I yeah, made an I account. Too. Well, I didn't want to ask you. Yeah. I was like, well, no, Sam already quit. <laughs> 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 so Daniel, now I have an I account on regulation.gov. I can't so. tell Daniel another <laughs> thing I can't do uh, with the goddamn computer. Okay, that is going to be a problem for the company moving forward is that you do feel like you can't be. Be honest be able with to me ask about your computer. You gotta problems. ask for help. You no, no, he doesn't help. do it now. He'll he'll fight through it. Like the other day when you were putting a post on the website, you're like, "Hey, uh, pictures are uh, you upload them on?" And I knew what you were doing. You're struggling. <laughs> you're fucking struggling. I knew <laughs> yeah. it. You do you just? He let doesn't me do realize it. that that actually makes me uh, me at home anyway. I don't know about you. It makes me more mad. I'm like, just tell me what it is. Yeah, I'll do it. Just yeah. say it. I'm good with the computer Don't stuff. do this whole, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's, you know? mean. that's too far. That's I, mean. I know, but it's that's just like, little, this that is was brain working. <laughs> that was a little mean. Because I, yeah. He'll oh. ask me for, uh, he'll, he'll know where Tommy's glasses are. And then he'll say, like the same thing. Tommy's glasses were, uh, oh, uh, uh. And I'm like, just I'm what thinking. do you need? Uh, I'm thinking. Just say it to me, please. He's thinking a lot. Don't torture me with this slow struggle. Anyway, I'm normally we're not allowed to make fun of people like that. Mike Gar- oh. <laughs> it's, it's on the spectrum of a hate crime. People <laughs> says that it, it, it is. Are you But yeah, it's just on the spectrum. I is felt close. it. I felt it. It's closer <laughs> than it is not. Anyway. I felt like it was a part of something sinister just now. But this is some sort of trait that other old people have out there that I'm not yeah, alone. Yeah, but you have an you have have early onset. Whole, you have early onset. <laughs> no, there's a whole bunch of people. No. Oh, you're basically Wendy You Williams. had this when no. you were young. I yes, see you the did. BDM. No, the BDMs have it too. There's a, people, there's BDMs like, I'm 30 years old. I don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> I see them. I'm like, you're like me. You're like, I see them. And this is why our country is the way it is. <laughs> what is that? Why? Why? Because, because our my, educational system is no, broken. No, but ask this <laughs> question. Then why? Because Daniel's emotional. His brain emotional yeah. but he oh, understands computers yeah. so well how was i able to i'm get like into a this? computer i can't understand fucking computers oh i never thought about that like <laughs> he, when he walked I in i should only be able to understand computers what you're not him? like a computer you're just not as emotional as some people. what made him so well, mad is he turned the corner and then i was hint- hitting enter for my account and then it went right into the screen and it said 75 tickets and we had one minute and you're like are you fucking doing it and i don't normally he doesn't yell <laughs> He's but getting more angry. He is getting more angry. Oh, there was a little bit of a yell there, dude. You were no. mad. I thought you might pop me in the back of the head. No, I'm just trying just, to get your stupid hiking. It's just you get more. <laughs> you get more frustrated by technology. And like it's it's all old man screams in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like old men, they get mad. They pull out their guns and kill their wives and stuff. They shoot their grandsons. You could though, like Crispin recognize <laughs> your uh, frustration with the technology, and then yesterday started this process. You know what I mean? Like, like look in, look into yourself and say, "This is gonna really frustrate me tomorrow." Nine minutes. That's a waste in of time. No, don't do that. Do uh, don't change it earlier. 
I'm going to tell you something I didn't tell you before. <laughs> it has to do oh, with... Oh, I don't like this. Um, I don't like these. Is this going to be a bad surprise or something? No, no, no. Because you look bad and now she looks mad. Sounds like he was going <laughs> to say a grape about me now. Yeah, no, it no, no. like you were queuing one up. This is only personal grapes. And you heard it. <laughs> 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 this uh, this <laughs> seems to be more popular. <laughs> with, uh, uh, so uh, the smile mile I took my sons to what over the weekend. What was that, by the way? Um, that like a, a running meetup. fun run. Yeah. It's right here in Baldwin Park or Blue Jacket Park or All whatever. Right. Um, so, uh, oh my God, they let you guys in here? They can, they can, they can, like, yeah, yeah. Get them out. <laughs> get them out of here. Put them out over there by the liquor store, the Wawa. <laughs> I don't know, summer on. So uh, the uh, the PE coach for our school told us about like uh, this you know charity Smile Mile for kids only. That's great. And then uh, I wanted to bring Max and Tommy because they've been into the cross country, yeah. and I'm really more into them doing like these things uh, because you're doing them too. You know, the, yeah, I you know, but mainly because I just want them to be try to get like better in some way. Anyway, move their bodies, jeez. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. th they don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. it's just, <laughs> I don't yeah, really want to do it either. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just going well. All right. yeah, 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 but I'm forcing <laughs> myself because I'm yeah. because I'm, and in turn you're forcing them as well. Yeah, because I'm like this has to be good yeah. for us, uh, me included. I have to, they, you know, I don't want to wake up early on Saturday morning and uh, you know get my. I don't we, like smiling, and plus, I don't like miles. So I, uh, I the night before I, I look at the email confirmation and it says pick up your bib and t-shirt uh, two days prior <laughs> to. <laughs> like, Two oh. days ago. <laughs> <Lord> <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> I just, I was, I oh my God! Read any of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, now Crystal's out of town, or she's going out of town, so I'm doing this by myself. Oh my God! Uh, You're doing a single dad smile mile. <laughs> yeah, Too hard. Yeah, yeah. Too advanced. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, no, but I'm, no, no, I just canceled it with Maisie. I'm like, I'm sorry, we can't do it. Your dad's not capable I, enough. I'm on this uh, thing where I'm. I I'm, cancel on Maisie all the time. <laughs> she, well, she doesn't. She doesn't need the smile. Mile. She's <laughs> she, doing she it. She always she, looks at me. She's like, it's okay. She's, I'm like, all right. she's, she's like, mile. That's nothing. <laughs> she's working more full time hours than all of us here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Is she hiring, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> she uh, might be. She's doing a podcast now. So I see uh, you're supposed to pick up your bib and T-shirt uh, like the, the day prior or that day, but I'm looking at night before, and it's, uh, you know, so then it's I see that Did it's Did you like, get anxiety? I know you say you no. don't get that, but you didn't be like, oh, like that would have, I would have immediately been trying to think of how do I get it or I got to get him there the fastest. No, I, I get mad at myself, <laughs> and then I'm like, you failed your son, you oh piece of shit. Oh, my God. God. He does. It's Dude, so... that's bad. Oh, uh, that's bad. Oh, I did. I wonder, yeah. what, what about this? It immediately goes to this like <laughs> I, horrible place. I should have looked at the confirm. Why couldn't I have looked at the confirmation email? Done something normal like a normal human being does. Uh, I didn't. I you know. Anyway. You were looking at your gambling numbers instead. <laughs> but uh, then the, you know, you gotta is. start making like a to do list for your. I tell him all the not time. Not only for work, but like you know when you On get paper. home, yeah, with a pen and so a paper. So you can cross it off and be like, "Yep, not in your phone." That because you pick up your phone for your digital list, and then now you're on Instagram. I don't know, yeah. man. I wouldn't or do that. TikTok Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna whatever do it is. He's I'm done. At. I'm yeah. not changing any of my ways. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm 47. I figure it's gonna be harder with me not here, guys. Well, if you're mad. At yourself, you gotta you know, change it. It is going to be, but I'll wait and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a 99% yeah, yeah. chance of it being yeah, yeah. harder, but, but there's, there's a 1% outlier of yeah, awesome. Yeah, you know? what if there's a 1% <laughs> chance easier? Yeah, yeah, what if like, it's wow, easier? This is great. Ah! But chances how are, could that? it's not going to happen. Listen, I've said uh, how can certain things have happened. I guaranteed uh, Daniel plenty of things that oh, I said yeah, this will never happen, and it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh Manscaped. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Super Bowls, elections. There's so Everything. many things you've told Radio me. Radio will be dead in a year. Yeah. Oh, he's I mean, still saying that one. Yeah. That the big, the big three. Oh, stop saying it. The big three are Falcon Super Bowl. Uh, Trump election <laughs> and uh, and, Radio and, Dead. And Radio's Dead. Radio. Those are the big three. There's some others that our listeners will know. <laughs> no, about remember when he swore during uh, the pandemic, movie theaters dead, never no, coming okay. back. Cruise yeah. ships, yeah. cruise, cruise, cruise ships, ships. never cruise. coming back. Oh, Tom and Dan Cruise, 2024.com. Oh, yep. right. Now imagine if your dedication to learning and not being left behind with technology was as good, right? Imagine if you put that effort into like every day. I'm gonna like, or I'm gonna take a class in the library to g get myself better at, 
you know, like typing on a computer. Yeah, or, okay, but that is harder for me to understand more than the, the damn triathlon. Just go fucking run out there. Okay, <laughs> all right. And then I could do that. That's Move simple. Your legs. <laughs> right, <laughs> like the phone tells him today, run 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah go. I just get and he out, just goes out, out there. there. <laughs> 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 and I'm fucking sweating miserable. But I'm just like, oh, time's up. And then that's it. Like, that's easy for me to do. When it gets on the computer, I was like, all right. Uh, re- <laughs> this <laughs> is really bad for business Watch owner. Watch a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> about how uh, Microsoft Outlook works. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, God. You reject it. And I'm, just you know, like, I, I'm, I'm going like, to tell oh. you something. It's a compliment. Can and I I'm tell like, you oh. something? And I, <laughs> you I are exactly. <laughs> He's exactly like my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm That's what killed my dad in disease. the company when they gave him his laptop and he had to learn it and they were going from paper yes. to computers and my dad's like, okay. God damn it, Carol! And that's when he quit. Well, He's like, I'm out. I'm out. 40 and he quit. years and my ago. My dad fucking quit. He was out. Principal publishing. Yeah, he had he, my, and they gave his, I gave my dad's fucking, uh, what is it, their territory. They gave it away because he, he was what? not, he had to, he's like, I hate this fucking Toshiba. <laughs> it was a Toshiba and it was a thick boy. He goes, this goddamn Chinese Toshiba shit. But why could it be? He could he do hated anything. It. He couldn't do it. He could not do he, it. If, like, if he put Impossible his mind to, to it. use a mouse. Couldn't use a mouse. <laughs> couldn't move it. Could not move my, a mouse. Pop, pop, did he use a trackpad at no, all? No, he time? Didn't uses his phone. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> that computer on your yeah, desk yeah, yeah, in there, yeah, sir, is a ruse. <laughs> it's never been turned on. It might as well be an IKEA prop. He uses his phone for all emails. There's, he does not type on a keyboard. Anyway, back to the smile mile. So, yeah. <laughs> stay on top. But I look, they do hand out like emergency t shirt and bibs. For those parents <laughs> that don't pay attention. Because right. they know there's going to be parents. For our parents. Crack yeah. parents. Yeah. I, yeah. I think like, it's at uh, Asher's. Parents like, that were sleeping. For in. alcoholic dads. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, at, at 7 of Bill. At 7 a.m. Now, races start at 8, so I got to get there. Oh, you got to be the first oh there. My God. You got to be the first alcoholic dad there because there's going to be a lot. And you gotta get that shirt, yeah. But, but also, my sons are not gonna want to wake up at six when I let them sleep up. in the car. So no, no, no. So I'm gonna wake up at six thirty, drive there. Wait, where's the egg sandwich coming to play? <laughs> no, no, yeah. Well, that, you gotta, no that, breakfast you gotta, for a ru- smile mile. You gotta the cut eggs, the egg sandwich in the car. The eggs give them cramps. I've learned this. <laughs> what? So, yeah, yeah. I have to give them egg carbs. cramps. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Uh, the protein gives you a runner's cramp. My cramps. egg cramps give me leg <laughs> cramps. Every time I gave them egg sandwiches, they'd be like, oh, crap. It wasn't the mayonnaise and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it was the protein. Uh, it's uh, definitely uh, not the protein, because I'm virtually certain that Maisie dances on nothing but candy. <laughs> well, she's an athlete. Yeah, it's all candy. <laughs> Marsha and Lynn's can eat Skittles all day. Yeah, and that's her. Out, start run. Yeah, our kids are not athletes. They need <laughs> <Sure>. perfect conditions. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. They, yeah, 72 <laughs> degrees. Of, yeah. Of bagel. If it's 74, <laughs> it's too hot. Did you put sunscreen on those? No. Oh my god. Babies? Okay, no, I came home it's on the first Sunday. Time. <laughs> he said I burned them up. My kids were as red as this couch. Both yeah, of I them. knew it. Oh, dude, you can't do that. Shoulders, on, chest, and face. You should have had a bag ready to go. But did they not Snacks, run in shirts? Sunscreen. No, it was the whole weekend. He left them in the pool the whole weekend. The whole no weekend. Sunscreen. Well, uh, the, the wizard's babies were all around sticking forks in the goddamn outlets. I had to save their lives. So uh, the sunburn was the last of my goddamn words. I can't. <laughs> anyway. Don't leave your babies with Tom. <laughs> and the wizards' babies are so capable; they are. They're curious. They'll get. They'll get into everything. Uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I get there early, right when the <laughs> goddamn shit opens up. Uh, I, I, I park. And then I walk over. To, there's a bunch of they are setting up. The DJ starts playing. The uh, bounce house. Oh yeah, so they gotta get it going. Yeah. All it's the, over here at uh, yeah, yeah the, the parks. Yeah, like yeah. they set up the vendor village. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's a whole huge yeah. thing. Yeah, party. Yeah, but yeah. And then they set up the uh, get your bib. And so I go there, give the Max and Tommy's name. They give me the bib and the Alcoholic number. Alcoholic dads over here, please. <laughs> they, Alcoholic dads. And then uh, I, you know, look at the clock. Last I'm like, name. shit, I gotta get back home, get them fed. And then give them back here enough time for the race. So I, I rush to my car, get back Wait to the house. Wait a minute. So you went there to pick up the shirts and he they didn't want to wake them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the kids are still in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have done it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, it's his style. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to make it easy on them. <laughs> because it's the yeah, only way they'll do it. We all have our own styles. Yeah, if it's too hard, Listen, yeah, they're not going to do if it. If you guys know anything about <laughs> raising <laughs> strong children, it's make it easy on them. <laughs> but they won't do it if, if it's hard. 
<laughs> and the only way you only have one decision. <laughs> they are, they're only gonna say yes to one thing. It's either going oh. there to, to get the bibs or where, it's going there to race. Wait, you only have one. wait until I get to the part where I almost pick Tommy up and then run with him. To get him to the race. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You gotta right. get it together, man. So, so I get back home and then the boys are still asleep or whatever. And then I'm, I start panicking. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm out of butter. Like, like, <laughs> like, like the nine year olds start, uh, they, they say be in the fucking uh, race queue by 830 or yeah. 845. You're be ready to go. And now at seven, they're still asleep. Yeah, you'll know, be so. stretching. You'll be out there in your spandex. So I, I get in there and I'm like, boys, get up. We got to go. Maybe I'm they're like, cramping because <laughs> you just woke them out of a deep sleep to go running. Well, first I put on Unspeakable on YouTube <laughs> because that will, I'll be like, hey, Unspeakable is on. <laughs> Oh my God. That's you're the only way to go. You're describing like the most horrible, best, worst. Best buddies, best buddies. That's the only way to get them up. Your favorite like, show, yeah. on your hero, but your favorite like, show. I'll like, give hey. you candy for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's like waking a bum, a bum up with free fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hey, buddy, we got the good I got stuff. A, I got a pile of fentanyl. Over All there. you want. I'm like, it's what as you much want. As you can eat. You love it. <laughs> anyway, so wait, go, go on. They start watching. Get a bite. And as they're watching us speak, I'm making their pancakes and making their bagels. Pancakes. And, and then I serve it to them on a tray while they watch Unspeakable. This is a, our morning routine. I so like that. <laughs> Crystal's embarrassed because this is true. Can I, Maisie, <laughs> Andrea, and I'm embarrassed. Andrea yelled at Maisie this morning for not unplugging the toaster. That's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> unplugging the toaster. My yeah, kids yeah. do not know how to operate. Yeah, the yeah. You got to, Andrea, even know what it is. Andrea's real big on unplugging everything. <laughs> Andrea's like, you didn't unplug the toaster. Maisie's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what are you, what are you guys gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> they don't I know how to use a toaster. I think they're just ten? gonna live with me. I don't know. <laughs> I love that idea. That's what I'm I want. I'm doing my best. That's what know? I want, but I didn't get that. I got this little Andrea, and it doesn't like. That's why I have Dansby. I have somebody that can needs me and loves me. I'll get him a job. They can sit with butlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got two desks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can we play. We got two desks now. Yeah, they can play Minecraft all day. Oh, I'll play, play Minecraft. What are you doing? Them. You'll uh, never <laughs> be able to podcast with him though, Dan, because he's gonna be here with his two best friends. Oh, I'll be. They're gonna be playing. playing monster every day. I'll be playing video games. It's, it'll be super fun. So by the time I get them all dressed and ready and get them shirts on, I'm trying to uh, uh, safety pin their bibs on. And then uh, Tommy's like, ah, this is uh, bothering me. I'm like, does it go in the front or the back? Anyway, um, I, it's, he has sensory issues. It's late. And so I get them in the truck and I'm start hauling <laughs> ass down, down here, right? So it, now the events already started, right? And uh, so that's okay. You when just I like got, other ages are already running. Yeah, when yeah, I yeah, yeah. when I got yeah the eleven year old started running already. But when I got there at six thirty or whatever before it opened, uh, there was parking up near the event. Right, that parking ceased to exist now because I didn't realize how popular this thing was. Yeah. So I went to my old parking space and it is oh, shit's land. Guns <laughs> are, yeah. So now I'm panicking. I'm like, where do I go? You can I park don't park at my house. It, well, you're far from Blue yeah, Jacket Park. Yeah. You're a mile. Th- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smile yeah, two miles. That ain't gonna work. So <laughs> I started uh, driving around. I'm like, where? You know, I'm looking at the why. And like, Tommy's got to be in the race queue by 8:30 uh, to even run this. And I signed him off, paid for it, did all the thing. <laughs> like, and you know, we. we uh, anyway, so I park far, real far, like by the elementary school by Blue Jacket that's Park. That's way too far. Like it basically in the grass. Yeah, that's all the way on the other side. In front of the elementary school. So I pull in there because other people were parking there because it's getting yeah, that full. Yeah. And then you got to do what you got to do at so this point. I park. I'm like. Get out, wrong. <laughs> so we get out, and then I start running. I'm in sandals, and I'm like, "Go, go! We gotta go!" So we're now we're running through the path. Like there's 11 year old girls running because that's the thing. Like the 10 year olds start, and then after the 10 year olds, and then it's Tommy, whatever. Yeah. So uh, the 10 year olds are running. I'm running there as fast as possible. The boys are like far behind me because as Crystal knows. Well, you're just trying to get there. Don't stop the race. <laughs> And uh, so I get Tommy there, and I'm not joking, like five minutes before uh, the, the DJ is like, all right, guys, <laughs> you know, you ready to go? They're, he's been hyping him up for yeah, 15 yeah. minutes. And then uh, so Tommy gets in there with glasses. I'm like, all right, gotta go. And then he starts taking off. He gets immediate cramps. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 he does good, though. <laughs> Then Max goes, I forget to tie his shoe. He loses his shoe. No. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his shoe. It yeah. came off. Oh, and he, he lost was, it? It came off. He got it back, but oh. he was the last person in the race. Yeah, yeah. All oh. the way left. Yeah, because he, 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 he lost. He had to stop, put his shoe back on. Everybody was gone. Now he's in the field by himself, oh. putting yeah. his shoe on. And, th- and then he started running. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They needed, yeah. So they had to catch up, whatever. They did the race, but it reminded me that. They accomplished it, I right? say all that to say this. Yeah, well, it's just that I will be <laughs> a detriment to their lives. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's a, I, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> wow. You know what I'm going to do? Wow. They, that was th- good. These are disabilities that I have yeah. that will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Were and they upset, no, though? No, no. They're, Tommy they're told me, and when me, I so. asked him how was the race, he said, it was Dreadful. <laughs> okay, that's a great adjective. Wow. So does, he, does he not? He's a good do writer. That's I'm, a good adjective. Oh yeah, when I'm at, dreadful is fantastic. And I'm like, aren't you proud of yourself? We got up early. We ran a mile. We did you know, a lot of people don't do this. And he's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Tommy. Dreadful. Yeah. yeah. See, that's I mean, running I, early I, in the morning I, is dreadful. Yeah, I just sent hard. you guys this picture. I sent it to Sam and Daniel, of Tommy. There's two. Mm-hmm. But the okay. zoomed the zoomed in one is really funny. You can see his little pout. He's in the line and he's just like pouting, waiting to run. Oh, oh. not his thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, but I'm gonna force him to keep doing it. Leave him alone. I mean, force him to finish out the season at least. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. whatever and your commitment was, and then try something else. Um, my last. Gripe, he didn't sign then. up for the <laughs> the running class, right? It was Max. No, he both. They both. Oh, did they it. both yeah, did. I, okay. I, we kind of tricked Tommy into it. Uh, Let him out. The other day, we all went for a family run together, which it was like, I, I felt like it was magical. Like, we've never done that before. That's cool, and then man. at the end of it, Tommy said, I can see dad's body changing. I can oh. see him getting stronger, and, and I want to keep running. So then he wanted to do a mile and a half. So oh, he wow. ran extra. He's so growing like he's, being, <laughs> he's being inspired. Right? I can see my dad finally growing hair on his fetus. He's been picking it down since I was a newborn. He and does he's have a couple now. of he, you have a couple of hairs on your pecs that yeah. you never oh. have. Yeah, yeah. You got it's those like got like five hairs on each. In the pecs. in the Wall oh, Street Journal, the tea starts kicking uh. in. In the Wall Street <laughs> Journal, they were talking about old what's his name from the um, the Oscars um, that came out nude. Uh, uh, John Cena. Yeah, John oh, Cena. Yeah. And they actually used the term in the article about his body. They called the side rails of his body. They called that cum cum catchers. In Ew, the article, I thought, I'd never not, heard that's that before. Called the runner's cut. I'd never heard that before. Somebody called what? it cum catchers, and it bloom. I was reading like a. a wow. It was either the New Yorker or that. the Wall Street Journal. It was a. Is it like a bowl? No, it's just a line. It's just the lines, I guess. It keeps the runners from cut. running it's off. The runners it. cut. Yeah, but yeah. they called them cum catchers. <laughs> That's gross. I'd never heard that before, yeah, yeah. and it blew my hat off. So you got any cum catchers, buddy? <laughs> I do not. Um, the uh, cum gutters. Thank you. The other cum gutters. gutters. Cum gutters. I said it wrong. So not someone coming on his stomach. I- I mean, I guess, and it runs down the gutter. Or maybe it's his own. Like he's jacking it, and it goes on his belly, and then it stays on the gutters. So. Um, <sighs> I was sitting in the kitchen doing the dishes the other day. And then (laughs) Max, who is Max is way more enamored with uh, me and my job than Tommy is Mm -hmm. uh, currently. Maisie doesn't care at all. Like where Max is like he gets a kick out of like anybody that if someone's like, you know, even at the smile mile, you'll like a BDM and they're like, hey, Tom, he likes fame. Yeah. Yeah. You'll also like this. Maisie thinks that you're. In the control of the business, and I just work for you. <laughs> oh, now she figured it out. I knew you'd love that. I knew, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd love that. Well, you're no, the one in the polls, no, no, but and I she's knew. like, well, he's yeah, a business absolutely, guy. that's what she thinks, 100%. <laughs> and, there's there's no, you know, it and there's no changing it. Like, she thinks that because I'm always <laughs> silly, and like, what is she's like, yeah, you work, you work oh, with yeah. Mr. Tom. Oh yeah. Oh my. And you're like the my, business guy. You're my, the business. My sons think I'm a buffoon, and then Crystal's vastly more intelligent than I am. They're, yeah. They even make comments. Mommy's smarter than. Yeah, daddy. yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah. made comments before. They're like, uh, "Mommy's way smarter than Daddy." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They're like, "How is Daddy?" They question. I'm like, "Why?" Tommy, I have a degree. Tommy said that at the end of the night, to get like so that he doesn't have to go to sleep, he just asks Dad questions. Because he knows that he'll talk for a long time. And so th- Tommy says, every now and then I just go, uh-huh. Yeah. To make him oh, think yeah. I'm listening. Oh and I'm God. like, that's what I do to you. Nice. <laughs> Tommy never Tommy. Tom yeah. does that to me. <laughs> By the way, I have, I, have like, uh-huh. I have a lot in common with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal ruined the old, the, I thought that Tommy was listening to every word. I was like, he's listening to me finally. You I'll have tell said him that about you guys the have world. Be, I didn't ruin it. Talks. <laughs> he would say that. When we do, occasionally Tom and I'll have like meaningful talks in here in the mornings where we talk about the things that our kids are doing that mean something to us. And you're like, yeah, the boys will stay up late. I know they want to stay up, but they'll listen to me and I tell them 
them about space. Yeah, but you're I, telling them about like, war and shit. Like, you're telling them about something they don't need space. Nuclear war, <laughs> space. Eight, nine. Like, uh, what tell them about I, plutonium. I you just teach them how to tie yeah. their goddamn shoes and use I, a toaster. You know, like spooky ghosts. When you start talking about plutonium, you start realizing how little you know about it. <laughs> 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 Which really, like, or the history of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where to start. I'm like, all how I know fish, about uh, evolve. Google all I, it. All I know about plutonium is whatever I learned in Back to the Future. <laughs> so anyway, I know nothing. Uh, Max asked Alexa. They're like, Alexa. You, this is what he said. He's like, Alexa, who is Tom from Tom and Dan? And then of course Alexa's Uh-oh. like, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> 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 and, and, and yeah, yeah. But but I don't know why he asked that. But then I get scared because I was yeah, like, oh shit, he's gonna Google it. He's realizing he's gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah. He's realizing Ugh. he could ask technology about things that it knows. Like yeah. he, it already knows. Like to do math and it answers other questions. Maisie's so watch. Someone's gonna that. say some inappropriate stuff at school, and he's gonna say, "Alexa, yeah. what's a peanut?" Ma- Maisie, what's a Maisie will ask the review. Or she'll ask her watch the review of every place we're going. So if we're going to like Maymock, she'll be like, "I do that." Uh, uh, sorry, what's the rating of Maymock? I'm like, "Where the <laughs> fuck are you? You're such a Karen." Yeah, but, but that right? tells she's like a junior Karen. It tells me that they're close to realizing. All right, the internet will show me anything yeah. I want. We'll Unlimited ask it for. Dicks. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like, or all the pictures of my dad. If I search, like, if I'm curious about whatever, yeah. Yeah. Google will show it to you. Yeah. So then immediately, Blue I, Speedo. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is we're close to the boys seeing all these goddamn embarrassing yeah. videos. You're not gonna of be me. a hero yeah. anymore. What about the photo with the wizard's uh, ding dong? <laughs> <laughs> with your sister, uh, no, that's right. not on the or, no, or what was that? Or what? Remember that? Or was it you with a with the hot dog? The hot dog. The hot dog. Oh, that's the f- not on the internet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things we missed. A yeah. pivotal time. We're lucky. We just like a lot of our uh, stuff is mm-hmm. uh, hard copies. Yeah, and it's <laughs> in a cabinet in the house. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah but, but they will that's never. That's okay though. That's safer. It's it, way safer. We looked in cabinets. The kids look in the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like uh, cabinets yeah, are cabinets are thing. old people stuff. Tommy yeah. looked in my nightstand the other day. Hey! Uh, oh my god! Oh, found, oh, your, oh, found your medicine? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no, no. Amazing things I use an inhaler because yeah. of my asthma. Yeah, yeah. Found my oh. special oh. neck massager. Oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> she found the big berry. <laughs> big berry. <laughs> she found big berry. <laughs> Mom, you have Hello, my... baby. <laughs> got, what is this microphone, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Don't come on. He's singing into it. <laughs> you it's me, big berry. So anyway, oh, so then I was like. Boy. I was like, well, how, what, how do I? Okay, so then I was like, hey, boys, you remember? Hey, you guys see Big Barry? Where is it? I gotta stir some paint. I'm like, you boys remember Spider Man, right? <laughs> and they're, they're like, yes. And I'm like, you, when you watch Spider Man, the actor in, in the Spider Man movie, he's just an actor. He's not the real Spider Man. You understand? And then they're like, yeah. What are you trying to Why? Why are you? Oh, you know, because I, because I'm a So when you see your dad, that's just an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like. I was like, you understand acting, right? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, so that guy's just playing Spider Man. He's not really Spider Man. That's Tobey Maguire or whoever <laughs> the hell's other white guy. Forty years, forty years ago, that was God damn. <laughs> My God. I'm sorry, but Tobey Maguire will always be the Spider Man. I don't know the new Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, you know, who are they? Superman. That's Christopher Reeves. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know that guy either. Tom Hardy or whatever. That's yeah, he's one. my Tobey's my Spider Man too. He is. He's my Spider Man. And then there's some other one. I don't, I don't know. There's there's, There's so the many. one that has the big Elvis hair, Garfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garfield the cat. Yeah. So and they're like, and they're like, so I'm like, if you ever see Dad in on the internet, with like, a boner. You're just telling them to look. <laughs> right, you ever see right. your dad with no, a no, blue well, speedo no, on and a say, boner? It's not him. I'm, it's an actor. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like the things I did as Drunky the Bear or anything yeah. that you see that you're like, that's not like the, what I know is my dad. I'm like, yeah. that's just because I'm acting. What about the people that that tell stories? What about the girl on our YouTube last week that said? Uh, uh, hey, I missed giving Drunky a lap dance at Tiffany Slumber Party. <laughs> Love the show, everybody. Uh, I don't even remember that happening. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany that happened. Slumber Party. Yeah, yeah. yeah back That's in the day. Back in we had a, we have a girl. Smash that mirror. Had, and you yeah. don't remember it. We had That's a right, because you never told me about it. <laughs> no, there she was no said, lap dance. She said he wasn't acting uh, too bashful when I was giving him a lap dance <gasps> no, at Tiffany. Look, look up our YouTube. Give me her phone number. I don't have her phone number. What is her name? 
<laughs> Why don't I get to see it in action? It is actually crazy. <laughs> I know. I wish Andrea would act like this. Andrea thinks I'm disgusting. My skin is hot right now. Yeah, Andrea doesn't even care. There's no jealousy whatsoever. Like, she would, like, because she knows nobody else wants to fuck me. It's true. It's not that I'm worried anybody wants to fuck him. I don't want him to want to fuck anybody else. Oh, I want to fuck everybody else. Yeah, yeah, I want to fuck you guys. Scared. Like, everybody in this room I want to fuck. Like, that's just part of life. So don't write that down for Mo. I'm hoping. I meant that as like a general for everybody. That if they ever see the embarrassing is stuff, is she using Mo to sue you? I don't know. That's why I just put the well, statement. Out eventually, there. If you send it to yourself <laughs> in a letter. You're fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I'm hoping that eventually when they see the embarrassing stuff and they think like, oh, that doesn't seem like how dad acts, they'll remember like, oh yeah, he told us he's acting and this is just a character. May does player. get a kick when somebody comes up and goes like, hey man, love the show. And then she'll smile. Mm -hmm. And it's cute like to see that. But she definitely thinks that you do the business side of what we do and then occasionally I, I like pop up and I'm like, hi. You know, like, so I'm then funny. Also, I thought <laughs> that like, you know how like if you did something like you're on Girls Gone Wild back in the 90s as in your college yeah. and now you're a mom with kids yeah, yeah. right and then those videos got uh they're on the internet somewhere i feel like now you could tell your kids those are fakes and they would believe it that didn't work out so well when the freak nick videos and documentary came out <laughs> well that was I, i'm saying now it's because they're fake i think it's too old i think it has to be new not to go but you said this is fake old too no but people will be like why like because it doesn't make sense to take old footage and try to doctor it right it's too hard that's what I'm saying. It so didn't work like, this past Yeah, but you just tell your kids what. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, They're yeah, dumb. Yeah, yeah. But you know? but it'd be better if it were like newer. Just like right now is the best time to have something happen and be like, well, that's totally fake. It would right be now is the best and it's getting better. Every yeah, minute yeah. forward is the best time. Yeah. So I we'll get to a point where you could just even real video and embarrass anything embarrassing yeah. on the internet. Did you, you see just the picture fake. of Sabrina that I did for our YouTube channel? where she has her arm up and it's just a sea of hair coming out of her pit. Oh, God. And it's her face with a nose ring the whole nine. I sent it to her and she's like, holy shit, that's like me. You know, she's like, it's crazy. Like, it's there. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. So Because I, I don't even have the good one. So it's opened back up the ability to really <laughs> do anything or have anything embarrassing on the internet because you could always just deny Is your ding -dong it's out there? real. No, it didn't end up on the internet. I do have me pictures neither. of people have yeah. taken a hard I don't have my ding dong on the internet. Ding -dong. You've Is, uh, you you are took you them. naked on the internet? <laughs> no. No. You naked on the I've internet? I never. I don't know. I don't think put I put myself in That's a. It's possible. I guess never you it's took possible, those pictures of me in the shower. I I think it's possible, <laughs> but I don't. I didn't swap a lot of photos. Oh, I didn't. On our I've, original honeymoon. Nefarious photos might be out there. Wait a minute. Hold oh. on. We're missing a full conversation I've never heard before. You Wait, guys what? took. What did you say? Did you guys take like the weirdo like like no. the what was the what was the skater that had the. The t m Tanya Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. Remember her sex tape for her wedding? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, Did you guys make a sex tape no. in your wedding? No, no. She, you, no. she took some hard copy pictures <laughs> of me in the shower. Uh, on your wedding night. On the wedding See, night. See, that's the, why the, I like the, Crystal. On the, on the, the predator's, predator's wedding night. Remember, there were hard copy pictures. I like that. That's a little redneck, too. And uh, so they're around. Baby, somewhere. he's they're a football star. No, those are, they might be around. They were digital, and then we got burglarized, and somebody stole that camera. So oh, it might be it? somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Oh, my yeah. God. So, yeah, yeah. So not there. with me. Yeah, yeah. There is some... It uh, was your dick out? Heroin alley. Yeah, yeah. It was out. Was um, it uh, the way you still are? You Does he still bick it down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she <laughs> hasn't seen it yeah. in months. Oh. No, she's Let's seen talk it. about I, something else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that. Lunchtime. I, 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 I don't, don't like convenient. it. I don't want you to bick it. I don't like it bicked. Stop he likes it, though. It's not about what you want. Stop manscaping it down. It's like... Level two. I Yeah, take it up to a one or two. Yeah, but uh, my whole point is I want not have no hair. Well, <laughs> he doesn't. Your he wife is the one so down it, there. So that it can take longer. She ain't to... down there. <laughs> <laughs> no one's down there. That's why I don't tell you. It's like, clean up your yard. You live in the desert and no one's around. Who cares? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, just throw your trash wherever it goes. Cactuses yeah. don't care. <laughs> Unless the federales come out here, nobody's out there. <laughs> just me and the coyotes. Um, Crystal, thanks so much for coming. Oh, yeah. oh hey. you're going to send me See, out on that note? It's always I awesome to have you here. I mean, we could do a couple of uncensored voicemails if you guys want oh, to. Just yeah. like kind of cl cleanse the palate I, off well, of, uh, of uh, you know, <laughs> shaving your pubes. <laughs> yeah, it it is, is, it like is like off-putting to people. Yeah, yeah. It is spring break next week. You guys going to get crazy? I yeah. am. I am. I tried to bang ma uh, Andrea. Oh, well, I almost <laughs> yeah. made a mistake there. Careful, I careful. tried to bang Andrea in the hot tub uh, last time we did this. But she was on. In a rental 
the hot tub? But no. she was yeah. she was on her menstrual cycle. Oh, come on. You were in the hot tub with her in the menstrual cycle? I mean, she, I, yeah, but look, she does what she wants. I don't know what I don't know what that thing does. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, I don't know how it works. You know what I heard today hmm. via the BDM page? Oh, God. Becca Rouse told me on the BDM page, and I'm today years old when I found this out. I've never thought about this in my life. Becca Rouse said that, because somebody was talking about like when you fart and you get that fart bubble that comes up the back at crack of your ass and you can feel it ride your pants uh. up. And then somebody said that girls do that when they fart, that it'll come up the front. Like that you can fart. Yeah, that's been a bit the front for years. Butt. Yeah, I didn't know that yeah. was a bit. I didn't know that was a thing. It I can roll back or front. I didn't know that feel you guys front, feel back, a little side bubble side. creeping up. I've oh, never thought about women farting their pussies up. Separating the lips. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Come on, she's the best. No, no, yeah, Slowly is, peeling them apart. No, yeah, 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 yeah. one yeah. little no, air no, bubble, just like a jelly sandwich. No, come on, just like the Tanya Harding video. Stop. No one wants that. Yeah, yeah, all the way up. One bubble. Nature's zipper. This is what you guys look forward to when I leave, Tom. Nature's zipper. <laughs> they're gonna, uh, sons are going to listen to this. <laughs> yeah. there, there's too much of this. There are chances that they're going to land on this one. I can't wait till they go back pop and listen, in to, listen to, to something. No, but BDM it, episode where Crystal I, talks about throwing Ziploc bags of shit at people. I, <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes. Did I talk about that? Yeah, it's one, one of my favorites. My favorites. Here's what will get you. One of my favorite Crystal stories. It's in the vault. One day I'll accidentally die uh, doing something. <laughs> That's oh the van away. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then. Like, I hope it's shaving your pubes. <laughs> oh, you know, man. Cut them. Cut them. You're picking them down. and He cuts a big vein. Please don't accidentally die. I'll make them. That's going to happen. <laughs> he bleeds out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, you know, Lieutenant Dan's heritage. <laughs> they all died the same way. That's the way it's going to happen to uh, me. Oh, my God. And uh, when I do die, my sons are going to go back and listen to all the shows to get to know me. And then they're going to hear yeah, yeah. So, And no. then they're going to get to well, know Well, you're always care enough to go back person. and get to know you? If you die. That's what Ross told me my a long time ago. My dad's dead and yeah. I didn't care. Yeah, if you did a whole yeah. podcast. You know what? You didn't. What? You didn't. He didn't do a whole podcast. Okay, but like you are, you get audio, freaked out. Video. Like what, you don't look at his videos because you get freaked out. Too personal? No. <laughs> I've never heard this before. I mean, this I shit just It's like he gets too I'm freaked in. out. I don't He's think, like, yeah. no. I don't know what his voice sounds like. And then he'll hear it and he'll be like, oh. That's emotions he doesn't <laughs> want to feel. Yeah, that's emotions he doesn't want to feel. Smokes. I gotta put that no. on there. Oh Tom doesn't want to get don't. sad. Never so heard that away. before. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Can I hold you? Who, therapy, man? who wants to get sad? <laughs> who you you gotta, you gotta get sad. You know what? I'm gonna get sad today. If you don't deal with your emotions, you become a just a robot. Yeah. You gotta I mean, get sad, and then you cu- and then you come out the other side, yeah. and it's, then it's gone now. And yes. then you wake up uh, and now you're like, heal. you gotta heal. And man. you're like, I'm not sad anymore. I can read this smile mile email, <laughs> and you do it, and oh you get there. Oh, no, 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 what no. if, what if that's the ticket? It is the no, ticket. No. Yeah. What if we can free your mind? There's no free, no free your mind. And the rest will follow. <laughs> no, man, in vogue. I used to love that song. That's a good song. Y- you can't change. There's nothing that, <laughs> nothing There's can, nothing be done. that can be done. Nothing yeah, can yeah, be yeah. done. Yeah, I know that as a fact. And everybody should nothing live matters. by that. <laughs> you live by the fact that nothing can be done. You are who so you are. So then why even try with your boys? They can't change. That's just who they are. No, that's what you say. That's, yeah. No, 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 no. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can force them to change. All right. Um, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. BartTheRealtor.com. Yeah. Yep. It's my uh, last show with Chris. <gasps> I know. Oh no. But you might pop back. I mean, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, and wanna. if you guys ever do a two wife crew again, I'll yeah. pop in over no, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll do. We're thinking about rebooting that, but only as an animated feature. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now. No, uh, no guest, tops. Guest voiced uh, Tone yeah. X. And it's available streaming only. Yeah, streaming only. <laughs> Two Life Crew streaming. On Podbean. Yeah, uh, yeah, on Tubi. We should stream oh, something, and, but not save it on the internet. Like, I've, wa- I've wanted to do like, that. And once you hear you it, you got to be there, yeah. yeah. So then we just turn into a radio game. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, that was funny. Holy smokes. That was funny. All right, guys. Um, well, I guess we're going to lunch. Yep. <laughs> Hope you thought that oh, was you funny. Wanna, can I go to lunch, please?